very proud of our football club, the fans today that have travelled this way uh, and how loud they were with 10,000 Wrexham mm -hmm. fans. And yeah. look, I have to give credit to the Wrexham fans as well. When we equalised the Raw, when we equalised, it was incredible and they got really behind their team. Yeah. Uh, and it shows that this club as well are going in one direction and they're all in it together, which is good. Uh, but from us, it was, it was a top performance from start to finish, really. Mm -hmm. uh, frustrating not to get something. Uh, but look, we go, we go again next week. Look, I don't want to say too much about the officials. I feel when you come to these big games that you don't really get the decisions mm. and the decisions go against you. Like in the first half, the first foul for their goal is not really a foul. Corey's mm -hmm. cleanly won the ball, but look, it's, it's one of those, look, I just got to give huge credit to the lads and look, we move on, mm. draw a line under it uh, and we go again next week. Yeah, you talked there about the performance. Again, playing the possession-based football that's brought a lot of success this season. Was that the game plan, just to continue to play our way, not play into what they're, how they're playing, just sticking to our morals? Yeah, the biggest thing is, is when you come to grounds like this and there's 10,000 ready to get behind their team, you need to make sure that we frustrate them. Mm -hmm. And I thought we did it very well. Uh, look, they scored and it, it gets their tails up a little bit. Uh, but I thought after that moment, we had a two-minute little bit where the lads were in a little bit edgy and we, we, we explained to them before the game that, that this could happen mm. and if it does happen you've got to manage the game on the pitch because we can't get info onto you. I thought the lads got through that little two minute spell and then they got to half time at 1-0. Mm -hmm. uh, we reassessed, come out at half time and the lads were excellent. So yeah, look, we play the way we play. We tweak it slightly differently week to week depending mm. on who we play. We will always stick to our philosophy and our beliefs and we believe that it'll, it's, it's bringing us success and it'll bring us more success. To come here, I don't think in all the games that me and Matty have watched back, a team's come here and dominated the ball like we've dominated it today yeah. and actually gained loads of territory because it's all right dominating the ball sometimes around your own half, but in the first half, we looked like the only team really that were going to score. They only looked like scoring if they got a free kick, yeah. a long throw or a corner and a restart. So it's a credit to our lads that we got beyond the lines. Tazza had the best opportunity down the side and he just pulled it wide, yeah. but brilliant getting in that area. We had a couple of balls when we broke beyond and just didn't quite make that final pass, that little bit of extra quality, but the lads stack at it. Mm -hmm. All the way until when Max gets sent off for a second book of ball, look, I need to watch it back to see why. Mm -hmm. He's saying that the ref called him back on. If the ref's called him back on, it's like an error. His hand's up, he's waving him back on, whether he's waving him back on or not. I think it's very harsh to give him a second book of ball when it's a human error from both parties, a misunderstanding. Surely you just use common sense, but then when you've got 10,000 Wrexham fans on at you, you make rash decisions. And I feel that's what the ref did. He made a rash decision that didn't need to be made. And up till then, it was 2-1. Mm. And we only looked like we were going to get an equaliser. Yeah, I mean, coming here, 10,000 fans, you must be very proud of the team's character today to perform the way they have. Um, dominating the ball, creating chances. Definitely. Look, I think... In a, in a, in a... <laughs> I want to thank all stewards for this afternoon. We'll see you back here on Tuesday night. Please stand down, stand down. Cheers. Is that a good enough response? Yeah, we'll go with that, <laughs> wrong with that. No, look, I think it's huge credit because it's easy to say, come away here mm. and play the way we play and be brave on the ball and move it out from the back and play through the lines. It's one thing saying it, and us giving the lads the confidence to do it, but for them to step over the white line and actually implement it mm -hmm. is unbelievable, to be that brave. Uh, because you're one nick away from someone taking it and going in on goal and making that error for the goal. And even for the second goal, look, we don't blame the lads. We ask the lads to play like that when it goes 2-1. Mm -hmm. If we don't be brave enough to play like that, you won't get the success that we've had. You won't get the domination that we had from minute one. So look, it's full credit to the lads for the way that they've come here and dominated the ball. Like it's. it's it's a top performance mm. against, a, against a top team that yeah. have just gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with a team in the championship. Definitely. Um, next week, York at home. What can the team take from today's performance into that game? We said it at the end in the huddle, the lads have got to take huge confidence from it mm -hmm. to come here. Look, this game doesn't define our season. Uh, we believe in every game we go into that we can get something from it. Uh, so when even when we're coming here, we know that we're a massive underdog and we shouldn't really in any right get anything from the game. Today we haven't got anything, but we come into the game with a real belief that we could get something from the game. And we go into every game, it'd be the same against York. We believe we can go in it with a real belief. Mm -hmm. We'll go and research them now, me and Matty, uh, in the week uh, and come up with a game plan for Saturday. We've got a cup game on Tuesday night, which some of the lads will get minutes that need it now. Uh, so look, we've just got to keep on top of things now, make sure that we can keep everyone fit. 
everyone's played a part today. The whole squad is everyone in it together, and that's the biggest thing. And the fans are, at the end, like the response clapping us off at the end, like we really appreciate it. it goes a long way now because it, it breeds the confidence for the lads to go again on Saturday and perform again. So, yeah, we just want to say thanks to the fans for the travelling all this way with the train difficulties mm -hmm. and stuff. So, look, they were outstanding today. Brilliant. Thanks for your Top time, Top man, Stu. all the best.